Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Arshia and today I want to discuss about the main reason that Rich Piana died. This is based on my research and I haven't seen anybody else come up with this idea. So I want to share it with you and this is only for educational purposes so you don't do the same mistake as he did. Uh, based on my research. I have PhD in toxicology, I'm not a medical doctor, but I wish these videos could save some life and also prevent some of you to do some crazy stuff that can really damage your life and your health. So basically, before we get into it, I want you to listen to this video that published by Rich Pia. People have different theories on, you know, how to take it, how it works, you know, the best time right. to take it. And for me, you know, back in that day, I tried taking it right before I worked out mm -hmm. and I injected intermuscular and the pump I got was just unbelievable. I mean, my arms would pump up at least an inch and a half to two inches bigger than normal. Really? And the burn was just like, just brought wow. tears to my eyes. Like I would, I just couldn't even do any more reps. Well, when you, when you inject, um, uh, growth hormone or IGF, there's, somebody said, or I've read in the past, you're supposed to inject into the fat and somebody's going to the muscle. Yeah, yeah, the old, old school way was into the fat. And yeah. the reason being is because it lasts longer in the fat cells, you okay. know, and in the muscle, it's used up a lot quicker. But then they did more research later, recently, you know, within the last couple of years, and they found that it's, it's, it's almost identical. You know, it's, it still lasts a little longer in the fat, but not much. All right. What did we learn from this video? Basically, we learned that in, he, instead of shooting the IGF-1, HGH inside, I hope not insulin, because I don't know if he was shooting insulin also right into the muscle, which is possible. Uh, he was not using the adipose tissue. He was not injecting around the stomach area. So instead of that, he was injecting into the muscle. And the reason for that is from the muscle, these material absorbed much faster, he could see the fast result, and that satisfied him. So that was, that was why he was doing that. But the problem with this is, as in other video I saw, when he was injecting into his shoulder, he didn't even wipe the area, he just put the needle, shoot, without aspiration to see if it's inside the vein. And with that size of body and those vascular system, as you could see in all of his videos, that all the veins are out, there's a high possibility that by mistake, he injected the IGF-1, the high dose that he was taking, into the vein. So what is the difference? When you inject the high dose of IGF-1 into the vein, that is deadly. And the reason for that is it's caused your blood sugar to fall drastically. And once your blood sugar falls drastically, your body doesn't have a time to recover from that. Of course, there's a signal that goes to your liver for uh, accelerating a breakdown of the glycogen to reach to, uh, to basically bring your glucose level up, but that takes time. Within that period of time, your brain will already get damaged from lack of glucose, from the drop of glucose inside your blood. And the reason for that, uh, I, I think you all know that your brain cell only use glucose. And once that goes down, you will see exact same reaction that he had. He start to talk slowly. He start to uh, doesn't make, he, he could not talk well. He was feeling disoriented, following by fainting. Uh, so that's a very common uh, side effect of your blood glucose falling down drastically and there were so many videos talking about that he was taking uh, silicone uh, he was injecting himself with silicone this and that and of course in autopsy they found some problem with the heart which of course to his, he was 25 or 30 years of using steroid uh, anabolic steroid and definitely whoever does that will eventually get those problems especially at high dosage without prescription of the doctor so this is my analogy, and I believe this is the most truth about how he died. Uh, I traced some other athletes that uh, faced the same problem. They all followed by fainting, and some of them were doing the same thing as him. So please be careful. Uh, if you want to do something new, avant-garde, and just try something new, be careful. Anything you do can really, really affect and have a basically negative impact on your life so try not to use it and if you want to use it please follow the 
safest and least problematic way. That was for today. Please don't forget to support and subscribe to my channel. Give a like and till next time.